Okay, today we're going to talk about conventional track rollers. So here we have a conventional track roller off of a crawler tractor. This protractor particular roller is a double flange roller. We have an outer flange to contact the outside of the track rails of each track rail. We also happen to have an inner flange which will contact the inner side of each track rail. Conventional track roller has a machine flat spot on the shaft. When the cap is installed and we bolt the roller to the bottom of the track frame, that prevents the actual shaft from rotating. The roller will rotate on top of the stationary shaft, but the shaft itself does not turn. The shaft is drilled. There is a rifle drilling where we can put oil inside the shaft. That oil then comes through drillings in the shaft to fill the cavities in the two end caps. The bearings are a friction type bearing. They are a brass bushing. Anti-friction bearings typically cannot take the impact loading that is common with track rollers. So therefore we tend to use bushings. This view is also showing our dual cone seals. We have one seal group on each side of the roller. The seal group consists of two halves. One half is held stationary in the end cap. One half of each group rotates with the roller. The dual cone seals themselves are probably the highest tech portion of the roller itself. The dual cone seal is made up of two matched halves. You cannot buy them individually. They are sold as matched sets. The O-rings come with the seal group initially, but the O-rings are a one-time use only. The seals can be reused, the O-rings cannot. The O-ring faces, in this observation here, you can see that we have a really shiny ring around the outside circumference of the seal group. That's actually the contact faces. As the contact face wears, that shiny ring will move closer to the inside diameter of each half of the seal. Rules with working on these, keep your fingers and hands off of the actual mating faces. The oils on your fingers can actually etch the sealing surfaces and cause the seal to leak. The seals are not machined square or flat. They're actually machined at a slight angle and that's why the wear ring will move in as the seals wear. Other rules as far as installation goes, the O-rings are only used once as mentioned. The O-rings are installed dry. They cannot be lubricated because we do not want the rings to slip. We want the rings to twist or roll. Um, the mating faces themselves, just before assembly, we will put a very, very thin film of oil on each half of the mating face just before we join them together. Other than that, we don't put a lot of oil on them. Rules for installing these is all well. The seals are installed to a specific depth. They also have to be installed parallel so the mating faces are parallel to each other.